Hey guys, it's your boy here, Dark Raku here with What If Issei Was the Reincarnation of Genichimaru and Judge R, Part 2. So yeah, I know it's been like three days since I haven't uploaded, uh, since I think Saturday. Um, because Sunday I had to do stuff, or, well, was it Sunday? I can't remember. Was it Sunday? I can't remember now. But of course, uh, Monday... Tuesday and even Wednesday, I haven't really been doing anything. Mostly, I've been doing some other stuff like what's it called? Going and like putting some stuff somewhere, cutting the grass, uh, a lot of stuff, and it did take some time. And then after that, I had to go pick up siblings and yeah, yada yada yada. But not the point. I'm gonna get into the what if I know uh, I haven't really been uploading, but yeah, I did upload one video on my first channel, but that's all. Like I think I did that on Tuesday yeah but not the point let me begin it's just what if I'm shut the fuck up but yeah no recaps because it hasn't been one month I think the last time I uploaded this was about this what if was like 12 days or about two weeks so yeah so let me begin into this what if and yeah so we go into mostly the alliance between three factions that being the devil faction the fallen angel faction and even the angel faction so yeah of course, they are talking right now, and this is where, well, Rius is there, of course, is where Rius and Sona is there with the Parages. There's also some of them that are also there somewhat, mostly because of some connections to, well, some of the factions. The White Dragon Empress is there because, well, she's connected to the Fallen Angels, because she sees her, well, mostly as of someone like her father figure. Two fallen angels are there just because they actually are the daughters of what they call the fallen angel leader. Two angels are behind well, what's it called? Mostly three. One being just revived to became an angel just newly about uh, about a couple of days ago. But of course the other two are mostly the daughters or mostly the niece of what's it called Michael. Yeah, Michael. Um yeah. Michael the Angel, I forgot his full name. But yeah. But of course, it worked well. Then there's well also the others, but yeah, there's also what's it called Matsui and Murahama there, but they're really not connected to the whole fallen angel angels or even devil side. They're just there as a wild card, but yeah, Matsui doesn't care. While Murahama is there as being the Black Dragon Emperor. Now of course, Matsui is not the Red Dragon Emperor. That's someone else. That would be actually Ice. Who is Issei, but mostly it's Genichimaru, but don't worry about that. But of course, with all that happening, mostly Sona wonder where Issei was at. The reason why she's wondering is because Issei is basically a entirely wild card. Because, well, he has no relationship towards anyone. He hates everything. He hates devils, fallen angels, and angels entirely. He hates humans, and he hates a lot of things. So, of course... She doesn't know what Issei's plan is for everyone. Because, well, he hates everything. Everything, exactly. He hates gods, he hates anything, but yeah. This is where, oh. Ice is right now kind of, well, we go into Issei. Issei is right now walking around, not really caring that much. Well, not, let me say that. Not really caring too much. He's mostly trying to wonder what to do next is mostly where he should go but of course he were, well he felt a strange energy kind of coming from the school he is kind of walking around i should mention he doesn't really care like any fallen angels devils or anything try to attack him they're getting fucked up it's six way on a sunday mostly cut into millions of pieces but yeah but isa is just walking and this is where well something happens he saw the magic and saw also a giant magic symbol on top of the sky. This is where it kind of cover up to being a barrier around the school and also freezing anything in sight. This is where, well, Issei was confused, but this is where, well, who, well, Issei thinks about him. Should he care or should he not? Because, well, mostly it doesn't actually involve him, but it's pretty interesting. Because, well, pretty much he doesn't care about what is ever happening. He only heard about from Sona that was a call of three factions are actually going to talk to each other in alliance. And, of course, she wonder if Issei will come. But Issei is not going to come because, well, it doesn't actually involve him. Why? 
why should he care too much? Truly, that's one reason he just doesn't care. He hates everything. But yeah, this is where he said he was about to ignore the whole freaking, well, bear or whatever. Until he noticed, well, someone kind of energy signature. It's, it seemed familiar to us, towards him, and of course he decides to go check it out. Now we go into mostly the three faction leaders. Now of course they're outside, of course fighting against well, one of the true descendants of the Lavanta family. This is where well, she is right now laughing and of course saying that you three factions will die here, and this is where the chaos Brew gray will kind of go on and blah blah blah. Mostly what she goes on in Joe County, but yeah, this is where as I say, huh. It seems that I will have to be fighting you. This is where, well, a lot of chaos is happening. Now, of course, this is where the White Dragon Empress and Black Dragon Emperor are right now fighting as a chaos brigade kind of members. But, yeah. But this is where something happens. Mostly, well, uh, what's it called? A magic circle, a green magic circle appear right next to Surzex. And Surzex says, uh, Ajuka, what are you doing here? Ajuka says, something's terrible. Damn it. I didn't manage to stop the person from taking well. This is where well Sir Sex says, Wait, where's where's Invail with you? This is where well Ajuka says, We're over there. This is where he kinda turns to his head and sees mostly uh the true descendant of what's called the Beza family. And he's right now having well Invail in his hands. And of course mostly well not in his hands, mostly grabbing her from the throat and saying, Oh devils, you false well, how should I say, you falsies, you, well, not falsies, mostly you false proclaim, um, what's it called, devil names of, well, the true devil names for the Bissell family, Labanta family, Lucifer family, you dare take our fucking places. Now, surrender the underworld to us or I will kill one of the true descendants, but she's only a halfling. He just spits out right now being disgusted at the whole, uh, well, the halfling that he's holding. But yeah, Info is like, this is where, well, she's crying, of course, being really scared. And this is where, well, mostly, uh, everyone takes, well, mostly two people kind of wind their eyes. Well, not two people. Well, yeah, two people. Mostly, some of them that already knew about was a car in but yeah, this is where, well, Mostly, I should also mention that the also mostly the yokais are there also. So yeah, I forgot to mention, but yeah, mostly Yakuza is there with well, mostly three of her daughters being there. But yeah, and some yokai soldiers, but they're right now frozen. But yeah, this is where well, they are kind of wiping their eyes and seeing the kind of purplish hair girl with kind of brownish eyes. This is where well, Yakuza kind of growls at mostly the Belzil leader. And saying, what are you doing with her? Or mostly one of the ones that got kicked out, but yeah. I forgot his fucking name, but I don't care. <laughs> the person says, Get, stay out of this, you pathetic yokai. Doesn't matter, I'm only there talking to the devils. The false traitors who dare betray us. Ugh, you little brats. Or mostly he doesn't say little brats, you motherfuckers. Took our spots, our titles, our true right to our family. That's to where it will. Mostly Sir Sex says, Your true right to your family throne? Yeah, right. You realize you would have destroyed the underworld more. The fact that you are just so pathetic in making those, what's it called? I should say, The fact that you hated the uh, for the reincarnation system, the force merge, and other stuff. This is where, well, we'll see. Well, the guy named Ser Server, or whatever his got the name is, says, whatever. It seems like you don't really care about this girl. So if I kill her now, what are you gonna do now? <laughs> this is where, well, Ajuka says, no, stop it. I'll give you back your title. This is where Sir says, Ajuka, no. This is where Ajuka was walking towards mostly Sir, or mostly the guy. Who has kind of brown shirt? The guy that got one shot it, and when Isig went juggernaut, mostly in the movie and in the anime. But yeah, this is where well, the guy's smiling, seeing how Juka's walking towards him. Now Juka's trying to be careful so he fell doesn't die. This is where well, before well anything else happens, someone says someone well mostly someone says in a very quiet 
but a soft voice at the same time. This is what, well, the person kind of says either, you can say in both ways, charyuk or borrow power, whatever. This is where he says charyuk, technique, sick, well, the six gust of wind. This is where he launches six arrows that are made out of wind at rapping speed. And before even the best Zelda, one of the true descendants, can turn around fast enough because he heard of, heard the wind like coming towards him. Now, of course, wind doesn't really make a sound unless it's going very fast or something is like going through the air really fast. It makes some kind of whistle noise. But yeah, this is where, well, before Bezo leader, mostly the one who's a true descendant, can even react fast enough, he got shot in the back six times with six arrow pointing from his like front. He get caught the blood. Go, Tuh. This is where it will. Invel widened her eyes, and this is where it will. She was let go for a second before the Bezo guy tried to actually crush her neck because he actually got shrieked. But before even doing that, this is where someone appeared right in, well, right next to Invel, grabbing her from the hand very gently and softly, but of course grabbing her away from the guy. And this is where he pulls out his kind of zombie tone. Die. This is where it will. Mostly the person says die. But of course, this is where it will. He doesn't really kill the best leader. He kind of just cuts off what's it called the hand that was actually reaching towards Enfield. This is where Enfield won her eyes. This is where it will. All she sees is kind of someone with kind of lightish blonde hair. A very lightish blonde. It's like a blonde, darkish blonde mixed with kind of like silverish white. This is where it will. The person has eyes closed and his face isn't smiling. But, of course, it decides to go into actually smiling creepily for a second towards the Belzell True Descendant. This is where, well, the Belzell True Descendant wind his eyes and say, Who are you? This is where, well, Issei says, Me? I don't know who I am. I could be deaf. I could be a god. Who knows? All I know is your dad. This is where he kind of uh, still holding on to Invel's hand and decides to, like, pull her in closer. Putting his kind of arm around her back. And this is where, well, Issei kind of puts his like sword that he has in his right hand. Puts it behind him a little bit. And this is where he says, Bankai. This is where, well, this is where he says, Kami no uh, Ayami, you know, yada, yari. Yeah. No, Kami no, no, bleh. sorry about that. I fucked it up. Oh, fuck. So, of course, he says, Bankai. Kamishino no Yari. This is where he then swings his sword right in front of him, extending it so fast that even the descendant of the Kalpas who cannot react fast enough. This is where he's actually cut into two pieces. Now, of course, Invil's like head is right now onto Issei's chest. Of course, this is where she's actually kind of blushing, but of course, she's also still scared and who this person is. And this is where, well, Issei is kind of grinning with this evilish smile and of course having his eyes closed. This is where, well, Having his bonkai extend, mostly his sword, his zanpakuto extend so fast that mostly the person could not react fast enough. This is where, well, Issei has his sword back to normal, and this is where, well, he then kind of whispers into Infel's ear saying, Are you okay, my purplish, kind of purplish silver rose? Are you okay? He whispers so kind of kind and gentle into Infel's ear. Invel blushes a little bit, and of course, when she looks up, she sees Issei's face. Now, of course, to where she kind of says, Eyes, is that you? Or mostly, she doesn't really call him Eyes, but mostly Guinea, or Guinea. Does it work well? She kind of says, Gin, is that you? Does it work well? Because Issei does know about, uh, well, Invel. Now, Invel does know about Issei, well, mostly either Issei or Gin, she calls him, but yeah, or even G, or Judge R, most of the time. But don't worry about that. This is where, well, Ice is just smiling at her, and this is where, well, uh, what's it called? Yeah. In, well. So, yeah, in, well. This is where, well, her brownish eyes meet with Issei opening his eyes for the first time for anyone, or mostly in a while. This is where, well, both his eyes, one being bluish color, and the other one being a reddish color, or wait, wrong thumbnail, bluish color and a reddish color. So I'm mostly blue like was it called Genichi models and red like was it called but mostly Judge R. But mostly this black red. The one that kinda looks like this. This is where well, I have this right now smiling at her with kinda of like a gentle smile. And that's where well Invel says, Eyes. Is that really you? This is where well, 
He see smiles and says, of course it's me. It's been a while. You became so beautiful and quite amazing in some physical aspects. He says quite gently, but kind of a word, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. But of course, that's just because he's teasing her a little. This is where, well, she blushes and then and seems turning red and say, shut up. Don't say stuff like that. I'm just happy you're here. I wasn't expecting you to be here. I didn't see you at the meeting or even felt your energy. I hate it when you kind of have to uh, hide your sensory. Uh, don't hate me too much. Uh, you know you love me. This is where, well, she's blushing. This is where, well, of course, it's where, well, Ajuka kind of goes to Invel and even Issei's side. And this is where, well, Ajuka says, uh, Invel, are you okay? Invel smiles and says, yeah, I'm okay, Uncle Ajuka. This is where Ajuka smiles and says, I'm so happy. This is where, well, he looks to the boy's side. And this is where he winds his eyes and says, Gin, that's you. This is where, well, Ajuka does know about Genichimaru. And this is where Gin looks at him. And say, yeah, it's me. What do you want, old man? Let's see what, well, Invo kind of smacks Issei in the kind of chest and says, don't be rude to uncle. Issei kind of smiles and says, what do you want, Ajuka? Of course, he said it with such less hostility and, of course, more just kind of normal. Of course, his eyes are closed for Ajuka, but yeah. Let's see what, well, Ajuka says, it's been a while. And not too long enough. Can you let go of her now? He say right now is smelling her kind of hair and say no. This is where Juka kind of just coughs a little bit, knowing already Issei is too kind of addicted to well mostly Invel smell of hair. But yeah, this is where well Invel is trying to get out of mostly Issei's kind of like grasp. But yeah, this is where well she managed to get out, and this is where well she says don't be rude, Ice. You really got to stop being so rude to people. I'm mostly she calls him again, but yeah. That's the right. Well, he, he says smiles and says, sorry about that. I guess I just didn't want to let you go like that. That's the right. Well, an attack was about to smash into behind them. But this is where Issei appears behind him and says, original greed. This is where the original greed eats the ball of energy. This is the right. Well, a giant mouth with kind of like these sharp yellow teeth. And of course, reddish eyes means uh, having a yellow kind of slick eye. And this is where eating the ball of energy. This is where, well, someone screams saying, No, that was not supposed to happen. You bastard, who are you? This is where it's a true descendant of Lavazi kind of screaming at ice or mostly Issei. Issei looks at what's it called, a true descendant. And this is where Issei says, Get the fuck out of my sight, you pathetic bitch. This is where, well, she growls at Issei, but this is where Issei says, This is where, well, Issei kind of pulls out a bow, and it's kind of a bluish, whitish bow made out of energy, and this is where he says, Black Flames. Well, mostly, yeah. He says, Black Blaze. This is where he shoots an arrow at, what's it called, mostly the true descent of Laiate, and this is where, when the arrow smashes upon her, a black flames actually exploded from her body right now, killing her in an instant without a care in the world. This is where he says, says pathetic bitch. Don't you dare. And we'll mostly use that name to, we'll mostly dirty that name for my precious, well, mostly Infill's name. This is where, well, Invel blushes a little bit. This is where Juka chuckles and seeing how Issei is reacting with Invel. But yeah. This is where, well, Issei then turns around and says, Invel, are you okay? This is where, well, Invel says, yeah, I'm okay, Issei. <laughs> She's smiling at Issei very gently and warm. And Issei's heart kind of slowed down a beat because it reminds him way too much of what's it called? Someone from his past life. Mostly from Kenichimaru's past life. That being what's it called? Rangeku, but yeah, this is where, well, he says, blushes a little bit and says, yeah. Now, of course, Rangeku had orange hair, and Vil in this one has kind of like, what's it called, purplish, pinkish, silver hair, but yeah. This is where, well, he says, blushes a little bit and kind of says, yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, we should probably be going then. You're in the middle of danger. This is where, well, other Chaos Brigade members are still trying to attack them. This is where Issei makes, what's it called, his greed actually eat all the attacks. And right now, just absorb the attacks and then send them back. to so right now, smashing upon the Chaos Brigade. This is where, well, Ice, well, mostly Issei kind of appear next to Infel and says, we gotta be going then. This is where, well, 
Ajuka makes a green magic circle, but this is where Issei kind of picks her up into bio style. Mostly, uh, what's it called? Info. Info blushes and says, what are you doing, Ice? No, 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 stop doing this. This is where Issei says, why not? Can I not do this to you? This is where he's smiling with this kind of, kind of a teasing smile on this where oh, she's blushing and it's in all red and kind of looking at Issei and what he's doing. But yeah, this is where, well... Ajuka smiles, and this is where they just get back towards mostly the circle or magic circle that was it called Sir Zex and even Michael are making with their own magic. But yeah, this is where Ajuka says, The barrier out there is still blocking my magic. I can't fully get out of here. <sighs> I should also mention that Yaka says they're kind of making also the magic circle much stronger or mostly the barrier. But yeah. Asil is down there kind of watching this. And of course, this is where he was about to get hit by a blast of energy. Until, well, someone kind of appeared and that was none other than what's called Murahama. Murahama managed to knock the blast away. And, or not, not the blast. Entirely, he didn't manage to knock it away. He instead got smashed and this is where Bo Azil and what's it called Murahama smashes down pretty hard into the ground. Making crater. This is where, well, everyone that was in the barrier won their eyes. Except for Gin, he still doesn't really care about showing off his eyes. Or he cares a lot because, yeah. But this is where, well, uh, someone landed down and it's none other than Volley and, well, Valerie. And she said, uh, Azel, uh, was it called, but how, are you okay? This is where, well, she's kind of wondering if they're okay. And this is where someone appears from the sky. Someone that's mostly search sex one his eyes and never expect to see again. That is none other than, what's it called, um, Rizov, uh, what's it called? None other than Rizavan Lavan Lucifer. This is where, well, Sir Sex says, What are you doing here, Rizavan? This is where, well, Father looks up and glares at the man who she hated her entire life, mostly her grandfather. Rizavan says, Ah, uh, if it isn't that there's two half descendants, pathetic. And then there's the fakers, and then there's the yokais, and then there's humans with sacred gears. And then there's this where, well, mostly is, was it called? With Hazel's yellow eyes to narrow his eyes straight towards Genichimaru. Genichimaru right now opened them with such an annoying look. This is where, well, he says, it. what do you want, you pathetic weakling? He said it in a gush of wind, mostly very quietly that no one heard. But this is where, well, Rezov did manage to hear because wind actually appears next to him. But into a bubble and then popping out and saying what it was. Mostly Issa uses his, was it called, Charka or mostly, not Charka, uh, mostly borrow power ability of the unknown wind power that he has from Judge R. Mostly creating a wind bubble just to appear next to Rizil. That's where Rizil glares at Issa and says, in a human, a human with such interesting strange abilities, yet so pathetic. Oopsie grins and does it work well. He say kind of has an evil smile and says, well, so annoying. This is where, well, he stands right now in front of what's it called, Infel. And this is where he starts walking out the barrier. This is where Infel tries to grab Issei's hand. But this is where Issei managed to kind of appear through the barrier. Kind of walk through it. And this is where, well, Issei looks at what's it called, Rizif. And Rizif kind of glares at Issei. Issei grins and says, what? Are you going to go down here and fight me? Or are you going to just stand up there and be a bitch? This is where Issei is right now grinning, trying to taunt, was it Kyle Mosi Rizif. Rizif says, hm, I'm not going down there. Yeah, I already seen what you did towards the two descendants. So I'd rather not go down there. Issei grins and says, oh, well that's too fucking bad, is it? This is where, well, Issei's eyes, one of his eyes open and showing as a red color. Right now started glowing and this is where Issei says, gravity times five. Dowson. This is where Rizzo wind his eyes and this is where gravity upon him literally smash him down to the ground in an instant. Issei says, sorry, but you're going to stay down here. I'm not letting you kind of fly back up there. That ain't happening any single time. This is where Rizzo wind his eyes. He wasn't expecting Issei to be able to control gravity. Issei then says, Takamako Blade. This is where a blade appears and this is where he lets go of what's called the gravity from mostly Rizum. Rizum spreads his like what's it called 12 wings because he is a descendant from the true what's it called or mostly Lucifer himself. 
mostly the true son or blah blah blah. And this is where, well, Rissus was about to jump away, but this is where he was actually instantly cut. His arms just actually cut, one of his arms just actually cut off clean. While his wings entirely were just ripped out of his back so fast. That most of you, Rizip could not wind his eyes and actually be able to dodge the power from what Issei contains. Issei grins and says, oh, are you going to start running away? Come on, don't be a bitch and fight me. This is where, well, Rizip says, damn it, I should have expected it. You're no normal human. You're at least demigod, aren't you? This is where, well, Issei says, huh? Demigod? What are you talking about? I'm not no demigod. But... He can't call me a demigod. It doesn't matter. I'll kick your ass and kill you. I'll make sure this was peaceful for him, Vale. This is where, well, Rizip jumps away and kind of, of course, not all his wings were cut off in an instant, but there are some mostly on top. Mostly, he now has six in total. He now has to return six more back, but yeah. This is where, well, he's glaring at Issei. He found out Issei is not no normal human. He's at least demigod now. This is where, well, Rizov say, whatever, I will have to be leaving. Damn it, Sirzix, I'll get my revenge later, once I regen my power. Uh, this is where Issei says, oh hell no you don't. This is where Issei pulls out his Zanpakuto and says, Bankai. This is where, well, this is where Issei, was well, using the last bit of Ryasa that he has, because he has been using Bankai for a while. Well, not the last bit, but he's been using other abilities, like what's it called, Borrow Power. So of course is where he says Bankai, uh, Kami, uh, yeah, Kamishino no Yari. This is where, well, he swings his strike towards the car, Riz, without him even figuring out what happened. This is where, in the middle of his chest, literally got stabbed. Think of it like Aizen when he got stabbed through the chest by, well, Genichimaru. <laughs> this is where, well, Riz right now coughs up some blood, but this is where Issei right now pulls it back to, ex oh, well, almost he retrieved the blade, but this is where he sent it back straight so much faster than Rizzo can actually want in his eyes, and this is where two cut blades actually appear on his face. One to the right of his cheek and the other one to the left of his cheek. This is where he wants his eyes. There's no way to defeat actually Issei. He says much powerful than normal. Issei has this evil grin in his face right now, kind of having both of his eyes closed. Well, not even eyes closed. Right now, both of them open, but having such a murderous look towards Riz. This is where Riz says, damn it, I have to be going. This is where he makes a magic circle appear around him and says, I'll be going, Sir Zex. But once I get my revenge, I will kill you. I will make sure that I take my position back as a true devil of the Lucifer clan. This is where Issei says, no you don't. This is where, well, before Issei can actually send his, what's it called, Sampakto back into extending, he then saw, what's it called, a blast launch from Riz straight towards, well, not him, but mostly towards Infil. When Infil managed to uh, get out of the barrier to try to stop Issei. This is where Infil says, Ice? This is where, well, Issei says, Infil, damn it. This is where Envil, well, mostly Ice actually appeared right in front of Envil in an instant. And this is where, well, he kind of had to push her down to the ground. And of course, had to take the blast behind him. This is where he was cough up the blood. <coughs> this is where, well, Envil went her eyes and said, Ice, I'm sorry. This is where, well, Issei says, no, it's fine. I'm just happy that you're okay. This is where, well, he glares and how the magic circle is already dissipating. Mostly Riz managed to escape. Damn it, I know it's going to kill him. It's gonna make life much more easier for you. This is where Issei whispers that straight into mostly Invil, mostly Torser, but he was trying to just be really quiet because that was basically his plan. Because he doesn't like doubles that much, but Invil is kind of hearted and much more, kind of much more like what's it called, Rangiku from what's it called, Bleach. Well, for him, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei is actually falling onto unconscious on top of what's it called info info wind her eyes and say uh uh Issei Issei's already passed out but yeah that's the word well she then smiles gently how Issei is basically just trying to save her life and be much more protective of her but yeah or really protective of her that's the word well she then hugs him but of course the word well she then kind of starts falling asleep with Issei's warmness but yeah this work well, Hajuka and the others just watch up and seeing how mostly real uh, well, Rizif was actually hurt really bad. Now, of course, Valerie was seeing this, and of course, she wasn't expecting Issei to be doing that much damage. He hasn't even used his boosted gear, the bo uh, mostly Drake, but yeah, or mostly the Red Dragon Emperor's like boosted gear. 
is where Issei has been using his own abilities. But what they heard and managed to kind of understand is Issei is kind of a demigod. Because, well, mostly Riz kind of says, you demigod. This is where, well, they now expected that Issei is somewhat of a demigod. But they can't, well, demigods have a little different smell signature from a normal human or from any normal being. Now, gods have different smells with also what's it called, a different power source of energy. Now, why do I say smells? Is because some people can actually smell, if they're from the supernatural, they can actually smell the power of, well, mostly just like very refreshing, like calm sense of like power always erupting from mostly a god. A demigod also has it, but mostly Issei never has it. His smell is kind of never there if he was a demigod. Now, of course, it worked well. But the power he displays is similar to of a demigod destruction level. So now they're just thinking maybe he is a demigod. This is where, well, Issei is asleep, but yeah. Now we go into mostly a hospital room. Issei woke up right now with just an annoying look because there's someone right now trying to revive him as a devil. This is where, well, she's been trying her whole fucking hardest to literally revive Issei before he wakes up. And trying to put him into her barrage. This is where, well, she uses eight palm pieces. Didn't work. This is where she uses a knight. Didn't work. A rook didn't work. This is where she would use a bishop, but she doesn't have any more bishops. This is where, well, she doesn't have a queen. And, of course, this is where, well, she decides to use two rook. Well, mostly a rook and a knight together. That didn't work. Eight palm pieces, the rook, the knight, and all together. That didn't work still. The glowing pieces never work on easy. They instead were always just thrown out of his body in an instant. This is where, well, Rius just hated the fact that Issei could not be revived. This is where Issei woke up with such an annoying look and just glares at Rius. And this is where he says gravity times 50. This is where, well, she falls down to the ground without being able to stand. Issei's eyes is glowing red and this is where Issei then lets go of the gravity and says, What do you want, bitch? Damn, what the hell do you exactly want? You're really starting to piss me off. This is where, well, Rhea says, Please join my barrage. Fuck no, Issei said with such a very cold and angry annoyment in his tone. This is where, well, Rhea then tries to command Issei to do it because, well, she is a, what's it called, Onisa, and he's only a pervert, lonely thing. And this is where, well, Issei looks at her right now with annoyment glare. And this is where Issei says, Okay. Yeah, I can see what has happened here. This is where he summons out his Zanpakuto and says, Bankai. Oh, well, he says, well, he doesn't say Bankai, he just says Shinkai. And this is where he extends his blade, but this is where he swings it all around him, trying to cut Rias. This is where Rias had to duck, and this is where the whole building itself, or mostly being at the very top, just slides down and falls upon some people. This is where people are just running because they were wondering if they were being attacked. Mostly they're devils, but yeah. And so Rhea says, are you trying to kill me? Issei says, that didn't work. Damn, bitch, you managed to actually survive not getting killed. Next time, I'll kill you. Stop thinking that you're above me, which you're not. I hate your species. I only hate you. Actually, no, I don't hate just you. I hate pure bloods. I hate your kind entirely. I hate humans, but I don't hate them that much. I hate you. Now go the fuck away from me before I decide to annihilate you at once. This is where Red Magic Circle appears, of course, realizing that the top of the building is gone. Now, of course, you can see uh, Rius right now arguing with Issei, and Issei is already getting annoyed, and this is where he's about to use his sword and so actually summon up Bankai, but mostly before something happened like that, a Red Magic Circle appears underneath Rius, and Rius realizes it's none of the Sir Sex Magic Circle, and she turns around and says, uh, bro, this is where she was teleporting and instant. Sir Sex says, sorry about that. This is where Issei calms down and says, what do you want, pure blooded devil? This is where he has some venom towards his, like, tone. Sergex right now sighs because he did got told by Wajuka about how Issei reacts toward pure-blooded devils, fallen angels, angels entirely, humans, but mostly the only person he doesn't react with such hostile intent to kill them is Invil. 
because of her kind-hearted, gentle, kind of like quiet nature. You say kind of, but very interested with her. And that's why he's not very hostile to her at all. Now, of course, they work well. Sir Doug's just sad and a little bit, seeing how Issei really hates everything. He doesn't know what happened to the kid, but from mostly Juka's understanding, it was because of revenge. And from mostly what happened with the war monarchal, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? What was his name? Um, oh, Kokobi? Oh, sorry, I forgot almost about Kokobi's name. Kokobi's, uh, well, Kokobi's kind of incident. Of being just slaughtered pretty easily by Issei and not caring too damn much. It seems that his revenge was connected with that man. Now, of course, it worked well. Sarzak sits down, trying to talk to Issei, but Issei gets up from his bed and this is where he decides to get his clothing. Does it work well? He gets his kind of like torn up, kind of like white coat because he does kind of wear like this, but of course, there's a giant hole behind it. It's not really fixed or anything. But he said he doesn't really care. He then gets a sword and decides to kind of like get some stuff and other stuff. Does it work well? Sir Zack says, can you please at least hear me out? <sighs> Issei Hyoto. Does it work well? Issei chuckles and says, hmm. <laughs> Quite interesting. You call me by that name thinking that that's actually my real name. But it's not my real name at all. Does it work? Issei starts walking past one well, we'll see. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Sir Zex? Sir Zex says, Okay, fine. Kenichimaru, can you please hold? This is where Kenichimaru was about to open the half door. Yes, the half door, because everything is cut to half, but yeah. Or mostly on top. This is where, well, Issei kind of grabs the door handle and kind of starts kind of breaking it a little bit. Issei says, How do you know my name? I ask Ajuka, that mother... <sighs> Not the point. He says, says, well, we'll see again now, knowing as himself. Because, yes, this is kind of Genichi Maru's reincarnation. And, yes, Issei's name isn't really Issei Hyoto, but it's actually Issei Gen... Well, not Gen. We'll see Issei Genichimaru. So, yeah, well, Gen is actually his kind of reincarnation name. But, yeah, that's who I... Uh, Issei said, what exactly do you want? That's what, well. Sir Zek says, what I want from you is for you to help my sister and her parage with the uh, marriage problem. Why should I? Because it might also cause, so they call Invil to have to get married to a person named Riser. This is what, well, he felt the power and pressure from Issei. This is where, well, Issei's power and pressure, both of his eyes, are right now glowing with such, right now, anger and annoyment. One of them is red and glowing with such powerful gravity around him, destroying anything that was around him, lifting it up to the sky. But anything around him that's being lifted up to the sky is being cut and shredded right now to pieces. This is where Issei's other eye, the greenish bluish eye, is right now kind of glowing very bright blue. This is where his hair is being lifted up so fast. And this is where borrowed power of different gods appear behind Issei. Issei says, what do you mean she's getting married? This is where, well, right now Sir Zek seems to actually hit a very, very, how should I say, angry spot of what's it called, of Issei's. This is where, well, Sir Zek says, let me explain. Riser Phoenix is getting married towards my sister. My sister doesn't want to. Riser Phoenix might also try to get, uh, what's it called, Valerie Lucifer, and also Valerie, uh, well, not Valerie, we'll see, uh, Enveil, kind of, Laurenti, since he is one of the younger males of, what's it called, the devil of the 72 pillars. But there's not many of us, so that's why he might try to get them into his kind of harem, I guess, marriage harem. But I think it's more sinister than that. He tries to say calmly, but of course, he hates it, trying to well, lie towards Issei. Not the fact that it's not true, but it's kind of true. He does know uh, what to call Riser Phoenix and what type of person he is. That's the word. Well, Issei looks at this and says, where exactly is he so I can murder him right now? This is where Issei right now takes out his sword. And right now, he doesn't care. He knows that he's not in the human world. He's in the underworld. This is where, well, Sir Sex says, wait, calm down. 
I want to fight him in the writing games, not actually kill him now. Is it where? Oh, you say grins and says, "Oh, you don't want me to murder him now because you think it will cause me a rift with the devils. Do you think I care too damn much? If the devils hate me. I can care less. The only people I care about in this devil war is Infill, and she's not fully devil. She's a human. She's going to be discriminate, whatever, whatever." I don't give a damn if I have to take out the whole population of devils. Yeah, it was a car, being that tough was a car. The head of the clans or whatever bullshit. People who dare touch her, I'll rip them apart. Issa said with such cold and vigor in his, like, what's it called, words. It's the word, well, right now, Sir Zexon, see, Issa really doesn't care about anyone. If it's not in veil, but yeah. It's the word, well. Sir Zex right now switch up and says, Can you please at least hear me out? This is where, well, Genichimaru kind of, well, mostly Issei gets up. Well, mostly that gets up. Mostly he's still up. That's where he opens the half door and says, I'm going to kill that bastard. You say Riser Phoenix. Since I'm in the underworld, I can probably go find him and kill him. This is where, well, Issei disappears in an instant with a body flicker so fast. Right now, Sir Zex right now sweat off because he wasn't expecting Issei to do something like this. This is where Issei, he is right now in the very part of shady places because he doesn't really care. He really doesn't care about devils. He will torture them and figure out where this Riser Phoenix should be at. And he will kill him without no mercy and care of whatever bullshit raiding games or whatever. This is where Issei will murder him. He doesn't care. But this is where I'm going to leave it off for part two of this what if. But other than that, bye and see ya.